Hi Thumos, welcome back. Here's something that I've used for myself. And I find it very helpful to not get too drunk and to not make a fool out of yourself. You don't want to black out, you don't want to harm anyone. You're a growing man, inevitably you're, you'll probably be drunk at some point in your life. I'm not here to tell you about the dangers of alcohol or if you should drink or not, okay? If you're going to drink any alcohol, you should be very careful. And one of the phrases that goes through my head when I'm drinking as a man is this phrase. You should be you can be drunk but not drunketh. It sounds silly, but that right there sobers me up and provides clarity. When I'm drinking, I'm a man, I can enjoy myself as part of this spiritedness and this freedom of being a, a person but I'm not going to allow myself to go over I'm not going to allow myself to be controlled by this thing I'm not going to lose myself to this vice I can be drunk without being drunketh I'm drunk but I'm also sober at the same time and again this is a sort of motto this is my slogan whenever I'm drinking because I know that there's a certain limit where if I'm starting to lose the control, then I'm getting to a point where I don't want to be. So I can be drunk without being drunk. And that model right there, man, that has kept me even killed. And uh, as I get older, I've had some experiences in the past where I've gone a little bit too far and I'm not, I don't like being there and I don't like how I'm, I act and I, uh, it's not wise for me to get there. And before, I just would drink until I was drunk, drunken on this spirit, on this vice. No longer, man. I can control it. I have this this awareness. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. This is how I feel. If I drink more, it's going to push me over. If I if I'm not there yet, okay, I can I can have a bit more. I can loosen up a bit. But I'm not going to get to a point of no return. I think every young man should have some sort of motto uh, that he goes to. So drunk but not drunketh. So that's just a little tip. New Year's coming up, all the holidays, you know, you might be drinking. Don't, don't allow yourself to go overboard, man. There's a lot of danger there, and it could ruin your life. Okay, so be smart, be wise. You're a man. This is part of being a man is like... You have sovereignty. You have control over yourself. I don't ask, I don't go online for Huberman to tell me, hey man, you could drink a beer. I don't go online for some YouTuber to tell me, hey man, you can do this. You can smoke a cigar. I do things because I want to do them. And I don't quit, I don't dwell and, and think about, oh, I did this. Oh, so now I'm going to like feel so emotional and I'm uh, distraught over an action that I took. I take the action and I deal with the consequences. I don't dwell on, you know, I don't dwell on the past. There's no use doing this. It's just a waste of time. And it's mental masturbation. I'm a man. I don't seek everyone else's approval. I hear wisdom. I, I hear other people's messages. But at the end of the day, I got to make the decision for myself. What do I find right and wrong? What will I partake in? Well, I not partake in, and uh, I deal with those consequences. You don't want to put limiting beliefs on yourself. You don't want to limit yourself and weaken yourself by not following a perfectly structured routine or set of actions, set of things that you do. You don't want to limit yourself because if you have this idea, oh, if I do this, I'm going to be weak. If I eat this carbohydrate, I'm going to be weakened for three hours. If I fap, I'm going to be, my day is going to be ruined. Eliminate all of these fake things that are weakening you. Become superior by not having, be, being surrounded by a plethora of different uh, things that can weaken you as a man. You're a man, you can handle that shit. So that's what you got to do. Next thing, because this is on my mind, don't get so emotional.
for every little thing, man. Don't get so emotional. Or oftentimes people that comment on YouTube, on social media, they're getting very emotional. Uh, you can see like Logan Paul. People are getting rallied up. You go on Logan Paul, this is just came to my mind. Or anything, just think of anything. The news, any bit of media that's coming out and people are reacting. The presidential candidates, people get emotional. Their emotions flare up. Don't get emotional. As a man, you should be clear-headed. Equanimity, man. You have to remain cool-headed amongst all of the things that are trying to pull at your emotional strings. You're, all, you're almost like a bird flying overhead and you just observe. You observe the theatrics of society. You observe, why is this guy doing that? Why is he so over the top? Why is he acting like that? Why is this lady doing this? Why are these people doing that? And you observe. And when you're not emotional, you can learn from it. You can see why people do what they do. If you get emotional, you're just like the masses that are seduced by the theater, that are, you know, are pulled apart by the drama. But you need to be able to look at things cool, calm, and collected, not get emotional with other people too. Everyone else is just has their own story. Every human, man, thinks they're the hero of their story, okay? They're the center of their universe. And they have different ideas of right and wrong. You cannot change someone else unless they want to change, okay? Oftentimes when you go against someone's viewpoint, you're attacking their heroic ideal of themselves. You're attacking parts of their character, their ego they've built about themselves. So instead of getting emotionally involved with someone and attacking them and letting what they say emotionally affect you and ruin your uh, cool-headedness, you should just observe more frequently than you decide to attack others and you decide to let other people's viewpoints and, and uh, outlooks on life affect how you feel about yourself. If you do that, you're going to have so much more peace of mind. So much more peace of mind. You'll make wiser decisions. You will not bicker with others because at the end of the day, you are just a bundle of consciousness that is trying to figure this shit out. Everything you see is light going into your eyes. You're trying to create an image of the world. You're focused on only a few things, trying to make meaning of your surroundings. And you have all these principles you made for yourself to make sense of the world. But you're pretty ignorant. You and me both are pretty damn ignorant. We do not know everything. And to think that you know everything is very foolish. So it's best to not be so gung-ho and not get emotional with every little thing. This this makes you a stri strategist, okay? You can plan and be strategic about your moves instead of emotionally jumping from one action to the next. Not everything needs to affect you. Not every action has to define your character and uh, make you feel weakness or strength. Live your freaking life, dude. But... You know, be wise. And I, I just, uh, I really think more young men, especially, need to stop being so damn emotional. Because emotional men, really, at the end of the day, are just weaker. Y you can't go through life reacting to every little thing, thinking that this happens, oh, oh, you know, I'm going to, oh. Come on, dude. You got to relax. So, but remember what I told you about drinking. I think that's important. Because you're going to have fun. You're going to drink with the boys. Don't let yourself go overboard, okay? Because you'll have to pay for some, some stuff if you go overboard. So, drunk but not drunketh. That's the motto. All right? Always keep it high, Fumos. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.